Hey everybody, XCI here for Let's Play of Mass Effect 2. Here we have Joshua Coyote Shepard. We're on the Normandy. We're about to head off into some new missions. I want to either go into the Jade mission or the um, uh, Kasumi missions. So, where do I... Oh wait, you know what else I want to do? I want to check on my fuel and... We are good. We're maxed out. Okay, uh, I've also noticed in the last two episodes that things are very choppy. And I'm looking at the settings right now. I'm going to pay extra close attention to the frame rates per second. And I've always seen them at good. Um, I don't know what's actually making it go unexplored. What do you mean ex unexplored? All right, well, let's go check this out. Well, <laughs> Olukun. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep a, a closer eye, especially in combat. I feel like something's happening with the game. I don't know if it's the video on the processing. When it starts processing something in my, I don't know, something in the conversion is messing up the video. But in any case, I'll keep an eye on it. I might have to start turning some settings off if uh, if, if it means fixing the problem. So here we have a Lokun. It's Sky Harvest. is a standard gas giant composed of hydrogen and helium. The spacefarers from Aaron... <laughs> gather helium 3 from here rather than Arun Mila as its atmosphere is much more predictable. I'm going to do a scanner and I'll be right back. Alright, threw 9 probes down on that son bitch. So, <laughs> so that's done. I mean, I took it to pour. I know I, I, there's no point in doing it more than uh, you have to, uh, especially when you get the pour, but I figured, uh, you know what, I'm here, it's right by the fuel depot, it's a quick like grab, and uh, we can be done with it. So, unexplored, am I... Am I going crazy? I thought I explored all of these planets. And I thought I threw some probes down at the starter planets. Wow, if I didn't, that's that's a slow start. Alright, so I guess this episode is going to start with me uh, checking out all these planets. I'll read them all. I'll do the scanning on the side. So we have Aganju. It's an extremely large rock planet with a thin atmosphere of hydrogen and carbon monoxide. Abundant in both copper and platinum, the crust has been scanned by mining boss from Aaron Lee, but the specialized equipment to work in Aganju's heavy gravity, more than 5 Gs, has created prohibitive costs, and so Aganju is largely unexplored. Be right back. Aganju complete. Next planet. Enter orbit. We have Aaron Lee. Uh, it keeps getting mentioned, so here it is. Aaron Lee is a garden world in its last stages of habitability. While its soil still supports agriculture, its animal biodiversity has fallen to record lows. And the most successful remaining life is toxic blue-green algae and insect-like pest species. A large Solarian colony is trying to restore biodiversity to the planet, but setbacks are a fact of life. Mineral and fuel mining remains lucrative. However, an Aaron Lee has a thriving spaceport that refuels many ships passing into the Terminus system. We are back. That was a crazy amount of elements on this planet. I mean, even just element zero. It was already saying poor when I found this one, and it was a huge stack of element zero. This planet was, I mean, rich planet. Thank you, Aaron Lay. You really, really ramped up my resources on that one. So, in final planet, enter orbit. I think it's the final planet. We have Arun Melilla. Arun Mila? Arun Mila. Okay, a medium sized giant. Arun Mila is close enough to its parent star to suffer massive changes in temperature during its day and night periods. This leads to powerful convection currents and storms throughout its hydrogen helium atmosphere. Gathering helium-3 to refuel is possible for the hardest of for the hardiest of exploration craft, but lesser ships are nearly always lost in the attempt. Arun Mila is within the frost line of its solar system where icy where icy cored gas giants do not usually form. For this reason, it is believed to be an extrasolar planet captured by its star's gravity. And we're going to start Scanner. We have a moderate planet. We're right back. All right, we're done that one. we got four probes left. I mean, we did a solid run on this system. Woo-wee. I mean, it was it was necessary. I mean, it was right here. It's right by this stuff. It gets us a bunch of stuff. I'm actually going to go... Let's First, let's do this. I'm going to load up on... I mean, it's a lot of money, but then I'm gonna go back in here I'm gonna check our stuff to see if I can do anything else before moving on because why not got all these supplies Wow, I've killed a lot of time on this episode already Whew. okay so upgrades oh sorry I, I was like why do I why am I looking at so many things okay there we go weapon upgrade let's do another review here there's a good chance we don't have anything new here I think our limitation now is that there's requirements on it. Whoa! Advanced mineral scan. Oh, well, I probably... Well, whatever. Okay, so we got this going forward. The 
Android Group's proprietary Argus Planet scan technology has been integrated into the uh, ship systems. This will greatly speed up the planet scanning process. Well, thank God. Yes, take it. Uh, ship enhancements. There was one more in here. We have a Thanix cannon. The Turian designed Thanix magnetic hydro hydronomic cannon. Uh, hydronomic? Sure. Cannon is now installed on the Normandy. This cannon is powerful enough to destroy a collector ship with repeated hits. Okay. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Uh, and then we have prototypes. And we have nothing. Okay, so there we go. Now we're all caught up. Now let's get on to submissions. I'm going to do... The Zaid one, I think. I think this is where, like, no fuel... For you, Commander. Thanks, Kelly. Where fuel is going to be an issue again. So let's hit the mass relay. Okay. Let's plot the jump. Just plot, 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 plot. What am I doing? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Um, let's go to help Zaid, I think. Uh, what else do we have? Kasumi and Citadel. Oh, see, Citadel is still... Oh, but that's not a mat. That's not a mission. Ah, oh, but I got a Mega Nebula at fifty percent. I feel like I need to finish things. I need to finish things. <laughs> All right, let's just help Zaid. Let's just do it. Let's just go. Right, a bunch of. Oh, it's also got a fuel depot. That's good. And more plants, which I'll do later. Now let's go. Let's help Zaid. Wait, oh, right, because you got to jump systems. Whew. Ooh, this has a lot of planets. Well, one, two, three. Not really. Four, five planets. And then the, these two have this, ha and this is in orbit with this, and this has its own. Okay, well, let's go to Faya. I do like that it tells you how much is explored. That way you you know when to like that you can come back and you know be a completist about things. There goes some fuel. There's some more planets. Now these I do have to eventually do before piecing out. Look at this tiny little guy. <laughs> okay, Zora helps aid and enter orbit. We have Zoria, mud sweet. Mud, sweat, and potatoes is how Blue Sun's mercenaries characterize the planet that gave birth to their home office. This lush garden world is known for its heavy plant and fungal life, creating spectacular jungle zones over much of its eight continents. Despite persistent problems with rot and rust, Zoria art attracts investors and corporations from all throughout the galaxy since it has exploited only a fraction of its potential resources. The Blue Suns dominate security contracts on Zoria so much that residents describe them less like a monopoly and more like a concrete regime. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, and then we have... Oh, it looks like a nice balmy temperature. Let's go. I'm going to take Zaid, and I have no other recommendations, so I will... I mean, I wouldn't mind playing with... Um, do I take both of the DLC characters? Maybe a Kasumi and Zaid just to try them? And level them and stuff like that? Maybe? So, obviously, are you locking him in? I hope you. I'm sure you are. Yeah, okay. Saeed and. Ooh, and then there's Jack. Well, it's Jack or Kasumi I want to try next. So. I mean, I'll probably take Kasumi for Kasumi's mission. So maybe I'll play Jack. I mean, he's a pretty tanky guy. So I have another one on the back. Yeah, let's go with this one. Let's go. Confirm. Uh, two points is going to wait. Ooh -wee. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have Shockwave. Biotic Shockwaves topple enemies in your path. I mean, that sounds awesome. Subject Zero enhances Jack's weapons, uh, weapon damage and health, improves her power recharge time. Experimentation with her unique abilities increases her health and weapon damage and reduces the recharge time of her powers. Health plus 5%, weapon damage 6% power. I like the overall benefits of these things. So, purchase rank. And then we, we're going to you double it up seven points I can just get her subject zero all the way up and that gets us oh right and then it gets us an extra bonus thing so that settles that let's just go weapon zero all the way for bad or for good oops I wanted to read that evolves subject zero damn it 
Uh, Jack can push her abilities to the limit, greatly reducing the recharge time of her power. So her health is still the same bonus. Her weapon damage is more. I see. Primal Van... Uh, so her weapon damage becomes more, but her re and her recharge is less. And this is the balance, is that it's a little slower, but more damage. Okay. What do I want? I want... Do I want her to... I feel like I want her to do more damage. Yeah. Because at least when she's... when she, The damage she can do, it'll be effective. You know, and the health is, is plus 20% no matter what. So that's actually pretty good. And then Zaid... Um, I'm going to hold off with Zaid. And let's go. Every time I say choose, man, because, you know, I think it's choose... Cho cho oh, this is pretty. Ooh. I like... Now I'm going to check that FPS as I go because... Got to find out what's wrong here. All right, Zaid. Hey, Blue Suns, man, I got no love for them either, so... I'm ready to take out this entire regime. I got the two maniacs with me. That's actually a pretty cool idea. And, uh, let's just get right into. Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Here, how about? How about before we do anything, I start getting guns ready because I ended up. Uh, screwing that up like almost all the time I forget to set up my ammo okay I'm going with sniper rifle right yep okay sorry 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 put it back put it back okay let's go I guess I'm just gonna start fighting now you know what I'm going to save I did a lot of planet scanning I don't want to have to redo all that game saves let's go Oh, that, I like that effect right there with the birds. A little bit of creep factor. I don't uh, sneak around as often as I think Squad I should. Bravo. A shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. That's better. Oh. Dead bodies. Investigate. Hello? I mean, this music is not helping my nerves, man. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito's style. Let's push yeah. ahead. Vito. Alright. Scared me! Oh, the monkeys! <laughs> the monkeys, yes! You are alive! Wait, how do they colonize an entirely different planet, man? I guess people could bring them out to other planets and, and create more biodiversity with, uh... Hey, little monkey! I had nothing to do with your cousins on another planet. Maybe, or maybe not, getting run over by a Mako. Command to Bravo, take a position. Likely these people are not runaways. They are totally the monkeys. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm probably being way too cautious here, but it looks so beautiful, man. I like cover. Oh, there's definitely cover parts here, right? So I'm gonna take advantage of the cover. Eh. There we go. And... Oh, thank you. Uh, you know what? Here, let's um. What are we gonna do with you, Jack? I gotta play with your powers here, man. We have biotic shockwave stop all enemies in your path. Uh, sure, let's just do that there, see what happens. That probably didn't work because it was against the wall. My bad. Okay, well, doesn't matter. Oh, thank you, Zay. <laughs> I, I'm get. Whoa, nicely done. Oh my god, these guys are murdering right now. I got nothing done. Jo Coyote did nothing. <laughs> he did nothing. Um, I'm gonna push Zaid into here. Loud and clear. I mean, he's a tank. Let him go. Firing an impact shot. Uh, come on, Zaid. We're free to fire. Reinforcements incoming. Get your <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
yeah, Jack, get yourself. There you go, Jack, get down, get down. What is this? Oh, that thing. Okay, okay, I think now it's time for Jack to unload here. Oh, no, did I just change your weapon by accident? I probably did. My bad. Oh, 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 that looked awesome. Okay, well, I, I'm sort of getting distracted because I want to see the powers that I play, but I should probably... Hey, guy, how's it going? What? I totally got him. Well, I'm getting a weird light there. That's actually... That was weird. What was happening there? It was like it was maybe half a second off of my right click. The zoom. Oh! Damn, son. Wait, 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 wait. It's you, you son of a bitch. Oh, that's an awesome little place there, man. I, I mean... Shoot, I'll shoot your gun. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, dang it. Okay, fine. Power time, power time. Bring him out. Yeah, Jack, please. Just right there, man. Nice. Okay. Okay, what are we doing here, guys? Are we gonna... Push it one more. Fine, I'll take the lead. <laughs> I was gonna say I'll take the lead I like this. I didn't. I can't get a headshot, but I can get that shot with an assassin. Okay. That sneaky little prick. Okay, we're good. We're good. We have a PDA. Oh. That's just for Moolah. Let's go this way first. Okay, okay. I wanna go look at the pretty stuff. What's this right here? Activate bridge. Oh, that's cool. I just came to check out the water, but hold on. Please don't push anything ahead. I wanna go bow. <laughs> I wanna see what's back there. Damn it. Vito. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. When we started the, the Blue Suns. Mean after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. <laughs> oh, it's gonna add. Okay, I didn't, I didn't actually miss something. I was like, did I miss some de details here, man? Why didn't no, anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? No shit. Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books. I led the men. Worked real well for a while. That's then cool. Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We'd better get moving. No way, I gotta go back. Direct to Southern Axis. All squads mess at the gatehouse. Shit. Now. They know we're here. Bring it on. I you probably. Son of a bitch. Uh, no. We're gonna go this way. Please follow right. me. You got it. If they don't want to come at us, then we we can buy ourselves some time, or we can reset ourselves. Up here. Wait, is this just another access point up to the... I don't know, but what if there's like... Important crap to take, man. Oh wait, is there no actual way up there? Am I just... Oh, I see. I see that. Okay, so I did all that for a health kit. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the bridge.
We're fine. We're fine. Damn it. Oh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Squad, shut for like Delta. Mass at the gatehouse. Wait. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Said and Jack. Where's the cover at? Okay, no problem. There's nothing here. We'll be fine, guys. We got we got this in the bag. So I never trust myself. Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. He did. <laughs> yes. What was that? Gone nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. Good luck. I'm gonna blow this whole thing to smithereens. Oh! What the hell are you doing? You maniac son bitch! I'm Wilhelm Scream there. That's the second time I've heard the Wilhelm Scream in this game. For the sound nerds out there. Indiana Jones has one. No, you guys okay, it doesn't matter. Uh <laughs> that was unnecessary. Explain yourself for me next Yeah. Um Next time yeah. you're gonna blow something up, I want to know about it first. Vito was confident, had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. We came to save these people. The Blue Suns, did I forget the mission? <laughs> I should probably read, read the mission, but no, I don't think so. Uh, does he follow me or not? Uh, well, I don't think I would play rank here. He's a mercenary. I mean, I should because he's a mercenary. That's granted to me by Cerberus, but uh, I this, up. this isn't the time. We'll discuss this later. But I probably Once have to say something. Dead, but let's just get this done. Anything you want. Yeah, fair enough. Let's do this. Okay, let's wait. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, I wanted to, uh... Sorry, Jack, you take it, you take it. Okay, sorry, Jack, you take it, you take it, you take it, Jack. Oh, God. I pushed her out, didn't I? I want to check the mission real quick, man. I feel like... We good? Okay, let's go to Codex. Journal. Travel to Zoria. And land near... Okay, that's fine. Liberate. Find the entrance to the refinery and liberate the workers from the Blue Suns. Yeah, let's not blow up the people, the civilians. Fight through the burning refinery and stop Vito Santiago before he gets away. Okie dokie. And then Codex. I'm just gonna... I don't want to do this during the fight. No, let's get... Well, I do wonder because what if there was something important here? So let's go mercenary... Is this new? Maybe? Okay, so the full history here. Founded in 2160 by the human mercenaries Zaid, Masani, and Vito Santiago, the Blue Suns were initially a Scalarian Verge protection racket. As they expanded in numbers and influence, the two co-founders disagreed vehemently on many issues. Finally, after uh, arguing about whether to recruit the slave trading battalions into their ranks, Vito ambushed Zaid and shot him in the head. Believing Zaid dead, Vito took full control of the Blue Suns and hired whatever battalions he pleased. Sunni had crowned one named Salem Dalsara as titular head of operations. It was a move designed to placate his battalion investors and draw fire from would-be assassins. It worked on both accounts. Both counts. And the partnership has lasted to this day. Over the decades, the Suns grew into a fearsome combat force spanning dozens of planets and citadel space, the Verge, and the Terminus system. Knowing that a good lo logistical team is key to fielding an army, Vito diversified the Suns, selling arms, training, and supplies as often as taking contracts to crack skulls. Even when the Suns suffered heavy losses, Vito's entrepreneurial ex expertise ensured new recruits could replace the old 
and all that was lost was the truth. Today, only a handful of trusted mercs even know who Vito Santiago is, let alone, let alone his old partner, Zaid. And we'll leave the technology one alone for now. I don't think we got more points than now. Let's keep that the way it is, too. I'm going to push Zaid into here. Hopefully, that's cover go. for you there, bud. Okay, okay, I thought that was Zaid being crazy. Is that... Let's just do this, let's just do this. Jesus, man. Gotcha. We're good, we're clear to here, okay. Good, I'll take it. You guys with me? Okay. Are you a worker? We're trapped! Yeah. We can't get to the gas valves to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! Zaid, you crazy son of a bitch. No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shop. He probably doesn't now. care. Let's be frank. Yeah. I get why you want Vito dead, but is he really worth watching those people burn to death? I'm not sticking around to watch. We stopped yeah, yeah. to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Oh, no. Oh, that's a rough one. I mean, I want the Blue Suns guy dead, but here's the thing. We can always track him down and kill him. But these people We're need here to, to get free saved. these people. We're going in. And like, enough's enough. I knew this was a mistake. If we're going to do this, we'd better get to it. We can find him, dude. What, what's your problem? We'll find him later. How are we doing this, Coyote? <laughs> Every time. Save the trap workers. Work through the burning... Well, I guess Vino survives. Some, uh... Jesus, Murphy, man. Come on, man. I'm gonna take it slow. Screw you, game. You're not gonna pressure me. You're not gonna pressure me. <laughs> God, I don't even have my bearings, man. Jesus, Murphy, Christ. Okay, start bypass. Here we go. Let's concentrate, concentrate. Thank you. I, I love when they're close. I love when they're close. Whew. Wait, how would you get through this if you didn't hack it? I figure that's like, that's a super... That's like a necess necessary door to get through, right? Like... If you don't, and something happens, then die. God damn it, man. Stop. What are we doing? What are we doing? Fuel control redirect. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, redirect fuel. Well, some definitely didn't make it. Always time to pick up some money. Always time to pick up some money. Upstairs, the extinguishing KK. I don't know who's saying. God damn it! I don't know who's saying that. No, you're not gonna die. Just relax, man. I think I'm gonna die of a fucking stress attack, man. There we go. Are you good? Are you clear? Oh, shit. Not again. You won't get me again. No. God damn it. No. <laughs> Pick up that cash, Coyote. Take advantage of this situation, man. You're getting paid. You gotta get paid. Did 
Did I just grab this with thing? I did. This looks interesting. Oh, nice. What is this thing? Uh, journal update. It stopped Santiago. Stop. Be oh, oh, before he gets away, we still have an opportunity. So he's probably just going to hate me or something. Oh my god. Ah, my hand is cramping. <laughs> this is stupid stress. Hey guys. Y'all cool? I, w I would like to try. They're cool. They're safe. I, I half wanted to press spacebar there to see if I could jump off the edge. Uh, I'm gonna save. I mean, it's part part of my just curiosity of like how the game. Whoop! Uh, okay then. I guess I hope that was the only way to go. <laughs> there's, there's no jump in this game, so thank you. Oh hello! Hold on. A fire firestorm. Take it. We can use this. Following squad, so for Shepard. Is it, what kind of gun is it? I don't know. Nope. We'll find out. Flamethrower. Does that sound? Sounds like fun, but please don't do that right now. Thank you. Okay. Good. Good. Just check the computer systems out. Before everything blows up. <laughs> Holy shit. shit! Jesus! I'll just stand right in front of you. I'll just just take the. What a maniac bitch! Okay, let's let's uh, do this differently this time. So what the hell is that? Sim. Me up ah! Ah! Oh. Wait, what else are we shooting? What the? F Come on, man! Point. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> That was sort of embarrassing. Okay, we have a, we have time. We have time. We can do, do change the loadout, which... Uh, nah, I think we're fine. I will take this. I am reloaded. Good. I will take this. Thank you, money. <laughs> I can't believe I can... I could have come up from behind them, but... Nah, no, nah, I'm just gonna walk straight to their faces. That, that's how ballsy Coyote is. I'm, up, I'm gonna go right in your face with, with, a, with a sniper rifle. That was so absurd. I should probably, I mean, when I'm running around like this, it probably is in my best interest to run around with the pistol first. Oh, this is gonna go down. Something's gonna go down here. It's about to. Nope, not this time. I'm gonna see if I can get this off real quick. No, you don't wanna do that? Okay. Oh, fuck yourself. Okay. There we go. You brought Shepard with you, and you I can't. I can't. There we go. Probably could have taken that shot better, but I think he went down. He did indeed. Uh, let's do something here. I gotta get... Ah! Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I'm like, no, I need to position these folks better here. So let's go... You take cover there. Zaid, if you can, get yourself in front of me, will ya? I'm not. I'm not. Uh, there we go. Let that loser die, Shepard. You can walk out of here alive. Twelve o'clock. Never should have come here. Did you forget who you were? Oh, son of a bitch! That was a per that was a perfect headshot. Uh, Zaid, I'm I'm thinking you'll just use the abilities you need to use, yeah? What is that? Can I blow that up? Stop shaking. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Zaid! 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 Back up, Zaid! Uh oh. I think I'm out. Yup, I am. Okay, no problem. Wow, is that thing screwing up their own people, or... 
I think I need to push. God damn it! I think I need to push up ahead. I don't think I can um end this. Get down. You know what? I'm gonna shoot the I'm gonna see what happens if I shoot this thing. Nope. Oh god, it's on both sides. We got company. Okay, we're gonna push up ahead. And then that's got the ammo. Here, Zaid, can you uh, just, I don't know, do that concussive shot right there? And I'm gonna start pushing Zaid up. Okay, Zaid, uh, let me see where this flame thing is happening. It's gonna take a little longer here. Nope, we're fine. So, Zaid. And. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go help him. Okay. Destroy you! Because I, I think there's probably something I need to do here. So, screw this. I'm probably going to die. 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 Ooh! I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. <laughs> okay. Needed to happen. Okay, where are you, son of a bitch? I'll take this guy. I'll take this guy. Come on, bitch. Wait, I don't have this on? Am I, am I going crazy here? Oh, because I keep running out of ammo? Let's do this. Oh, I'm going to get people killed. Huh. Come on, bitch! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but it is more fun to do this. See ya! Watch the flames, watch the flames, watch the flames! Okay, are we good here? I want some ammo, I need some ammo. Zaid, I thought you were the enemy. It really comes down to that... the hiding ability, man. I... I don't know, part of me, I, I, I guess, didn't really... I did oops. I, I didn't ass assume that it recharged as fast as it did, but it recharges really fast, man. So, you have no reason not to just keep spamming it. <laughs> I can't save. There's, well, probably, let's try. Oh, nice. Sorry. We probably should get out of here. Okay, at least we're safe here. Let's cool, let's cool our uh, jets here for a bit. That looks explodey. Um, let's go to the next room. Uh, part of me is hoping these are just loot rooms because I am uh, definitely going over. <laughs> but I sort of want to see this through at this point. We're good along the sides here. We're good. Two more. Let's go this one, sure. We're good. Next. Last door. Is this. Oh, what was the point of these two rooms? <laughs> Why put these in the game if there's nothing to loot? Come on, man. Waste my time. Don't burn me. Don't burn me. No. Back. Okay. Eight shots. No sweat. Loud and clear. Here it goes. Oh snap. No, it probably is we lost it. Well, can we shoot bitch? We shoot the ship down? Son of a bitch! That was cool. No, Zaya's gonna ma do a maniac, isn't he? He's gonna be pissed. Oh. oh! Is it crashing or no? You just cost me twenty years. Oh, of my don't life. do that shit. Oh. 
You started this fire, Zaid. It makes sense that you'll burn in it. Yeah, screw you. Now come on, get me out of this shithole. You threw your weapon at me, fool. <laughs> oh, you could probably make a call here. No, you no, put no, your he's... revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'm doing what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just about to don't shoot your goddamn any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That's not the way this works. I mean, I, I said it would help, but long watching my own back. Don't put people at no risk. No time to worry about anyone else. Selfish prick. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You're part of a team now, Zaid. Here we go. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. That's that's you, my boy. You have a point. I'm not done with Vito, but I can put that behind me long enough we'll to get we'll your take care of it, done. dude. I hope we can still take care of it. Let's Unless I made a call. Unless I made a call that's going to roll into ME3. M if I did, I'm blind. And I'm not going to put people at risk. I'm not going to. That's not the shepherd way. Part of me is afraid I you guys did suggest I take someone on this, but... I don't think so. Okay. That was... shortish. I don't know if it continues elsewhere, but okay, we have Elfeld Ashland Refinery on Sora has been liberated, though the company will have to spend millions to rebuild. Although Vito sent and I stole quite a bit, but whatever, no one saw it burnt. Although Vito Santiago escapes, Zaid has accepted Shepard's command and appears focused on the mission. Zaid's power unlocked. Launches a volatile grenade that explodes on impact, sending searing waves of flames in all directions. This fire damage is effective against armor. We have new outfit. I unlock new outfit for Zaid. We have the Firestorm, which is another grenade kind of thing. Suppresses the regenerative capabilities of Vorcha and Krogan. Effective against armor, shields, and biotic barriers. I need to use those more often. For the big fights. For the big bosses. Uh, we got heavy weapon ammo here for research. Uh, we have plus 45% heavy weapon. Oh, ammo capacity. I was going to say damage. No, weapon ammo. That's pretty cool. And then credits. That's some pretty solid money there. Okay. Let me know if there was someone else I should have taken there. I mean, I can do it on the side. I can always reload a mission and, and play it out. See if there's any di extra dialogue that would have come from anybody else. But I think it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I mean, it probably does. But uh, oh, God, my game. My mouse is off my screen. Okay, so we have advanced. Let's go and Commander, check. You received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Kelly. Let's do this first. Unread messages. So if title untitled from Air Invalid Sender's name, I'm gonna guess it's probably from Fido. Hey Shepard, heard I have you to uh so no comma that yeah, it's written like an asshole, so probably Vito. So hey Shepard, heard I have you to thank for getting me out of purgatory, sent a ship to round me up, and they out of purgatory. That's the prison. Oh, this is not a response from Fido. This is oh no. <laughs> oh, this might be the Torian. That I forget his name now, the guy who was running purgatory, maybe. Didn't we kill him? I might be confused now. Anyways, I'm going to carve your name instead of mine to my next victim as thanks. Got anyone you need dead? Haha. <laughs> you did take a shot at me, though, on my way out, so I have to kill you. You know how it goes. Dad taught me that you let anybody hurt you. They get ideas, so you make sure to send a message. Not like I'm sending now, though. See you around. The people who live here are coming back, and it's showtime. Look around for your name. I'll make sure you find it before I find you. Billy. No, this is one of the prisoners. This is not the Turian. We killed him. I took a shot at one of the... This is like... Was this the guy getting beat? Who was Billy? Just some random prisoner? Alright. Mark is red. Uh, I might be missing a detail there, but let's go and check these upgrades here. Let's see if that upgrade made a difference. It's an ammo thing, right? So it would be weapons upgrade, maybe? Nope. 
and you also got some more resources. So we got two more things we can do here, prototypes. We have advanced training. Through intensive training, Shepard can learn to use a single bonus power. Obtaining more loyal squad members will increase the number of powers available for Shepard. Shepard can complete this research project multiple times. Each time the project is completed, Shepard selects a new power bonus, a new bonus power. And any points already spent transfer to the new selected power. Okay. 5,000 elements zero each time. Ow. That's like the ra the hard one to get, but I'm going yeah, to take it. Take it. Okay. Inferno grenade. Launches a volatile grenade. Oh, that's the thing we... Okay, okay. That came from Zaid. Okay. Choose power. Sure. Let's take that. And then let's go prototypes. Uh... <laughs> Wait. I can take another one. Okay, first, hold on. Let's check the weapon, uh, the ammo capacity. Let's just do that one right there. Advanced training again, which I mean, part, I'm tempted to see. What does this mean? Research, advanced training. Re I mean, this eventually has a limit, right? Because element zero, man. Inferno grenade. No. Oh, no. I can't back out of here? Oh, no. No, no. No. Did I just spend... Oh no, okay, I was like, don't be a bug. That's gonna cost me 10k for that crap. Oh, when it's blinking, does that mean something new? Probably. Uh, let's, it's probably just to tell me what's updated. Let me see something. Oh, cool, it does. It lets you know when something has been added. Okay, you know what? Before I start talking to people on the ship, I think I'm gonna bail out here and then we'll do a round of ship talk and I'll go to Zaid. Um, I'll do a round because I, I, Zaid's mission's done and I'm gonna presume that that means people have something to say. God, it's really dark in here. Morning, you wanna turn on some lights where it's like, where we can do a sign off? All right, guys, don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire. Catch you around next time. Peace. Peace.